So thanks to the wonders of a shady eBay sellers repackaging broken used phones as a brand new in box, I've increased my collection of Nokia 6300s by one and we've also got a new fake Nokia charger to take a look at. So this one seems to be doing a slightly better job than the last one at uh, appearing genuine. It uh, doesn't have the obviously fake Nokia logo, this one actually looks kind of okay, but uh, the uh, font is still wrong. In fact, we can just uh, compare it to my genuine newer model one there. So the Nokia logo is uh, supposed to be bold, it isn't on this one, so I'm quite certain it's a fake. We've also got some rather low quality printing on the side of the actual charger. And there's something really weird going on with that QR code because they've forgotten to fill in the actual, uh, what do you call it, squares on it. So I don't think that would be readable by any normal device. Fake CE mark, all in order. But this one actually seems to have real screws rather than the fake plastic ones. So let's just try and... Uh, force those open, real screws, but uh, they are not the same as those you'd find on a genuine Nokia charger because uh, this screwdriver doesn't quite fit these and I know that this one will open uh, any genuine Nokia charger I've ever tried to open, so I suppose we didn't quite get that right, but hey, at least they have screws and they are tri-wing like the genuine Nokia ones, so points for that, but I think when we get inside we'll find that that's where the similarities are going to end. Real screws, actually surprisingly high quality I must say, so what do we have? And that's, that actually looks reasonably Proper at a first glance, I can see a Chong brand cap in there. Oh, oh, that's a neat solution. That's a very neat solution. We've just got the uh, contacts spring loaded to the plug there. That, that's pretty clever. I like that. <laughs> I really like that. So, what do we have on the actual board? So we've got our mains input there, of course, and well, these air gaps actually look quite nice. I don't really understand why they've chosen to just put a slot underneath a transformer. That seems a bit redundant, but uh, I suppose it's better than nothing. We uh, do not have an RF suppression cap populated, so uh, that's not a good thing. Although I suppose so you do lose the risk of getting a tiny zap of the, off of this thing if you touch a grounded object. But it's not supposed to be that way. The caps in this thing are tiny. Well, we've got a 1 microfarad 400 volt cap for the primary. What's that on the secondary? We've got some 25 volt 10 microfarads sitting there. And a tiny 16 volt 220 microfarad on the output that's tiny this can't be a properly ESR cap surely not brand is what on earth is that samunk samunk right uh, the little tiny one seems to be a High nods. Oh, that's a H Y N O D Z. High nods. <laughs> and a trusty old. Oh, is that even Chang X? Yeah, that's a Chang X brand. So this is actually fairly large, I believe, but very low quality. This is a surprising amount of uh, components on this uh, board. We've got a 2SC945 transistor there, so this seems to be just a 
a discrete design without an integrated switch I see there's probably some complementary thing to that you know, that's a 13001 I believe that's a standard issue NPN transistor uh, really dodgy <laughs> resistor going there oh well a couple of diodes is this just halfway rectified it seems to be just halfway rectified because we've just got one diode there going uh, from the main see so that's a bit dodgy but this thing probably works and it's certainly certainly not as bad as the previous one this one actually has some kind of uh, a safety gap going for it so at least this isn't quite as deadly as the last one, this might not even be uh, deserving of a plunge. Hmm. I'll have to consider that. Because I probably wouldn't want to use this thing anyway. Let's just uh, try and power it up and see if it'll do anything fun. Or else let's just uh, verify that it actually is uh, halfway rectified. So I've got uh, the positive hooked up to the a positive of the single diode and I've reversed the leads on the actual power supply so we're getting a negative 150 volts DC there and if it indeed is halfway rectified we are not going to see any output on this meter at all so let's see if they've managed some miracle nope nothing curious it's drawing uh, uh, 10 milliamps <laughs> even though we're not even biasing the rectifier properly and well it's just to swap the leads back to the correct positions and see if we actually get any output almost 6 volts well at least it's working drawing the same 10 milliamps so well, let's just see what happens if we put uh, uh, an 8 ohm resistive lead on it it should be just pushing it to its rated power, maybe slightly above. Hey team's coming in the probes. Well, I suppose it's uh, current limiting. Yeah, it's, it's just going to have a silly high output impedance. Yeah, not too impressed by that, but uh, I suppose it behaves like all of these do. They just don't have any absolute voltage reference to utilize. So, of course, the voltage is going to end up being whatever. Probably it's going to change a bit if I just uh, alter the input voltage a bit. Let's just to turn it down. Yeah, that's 118 volts. I'm back to 150. It probably is just going to drop down. We're at 72 volts now. It's just reference to the main voltage. 35 volts and it's still going would turn the load off. Well, that's actually relatively accurate. Hmm. There you go. But yeah, loaded voltage. Entirely dependent on mains voltage. There we go, at least it works. Now, am I going to destroy it? I'm going to have to think about that. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course it's going up in flames. So, well, since the last one met uh, a fate of water, I figured this one would... Uh, meet a fate of current uh, because uh, as you can see I've uh, made some connections to a rather beefy power supply and uh, I'm uh, frankly not entirely certain as to if I got the polarity hooked up right so uh, well, let's just uh, see what happens And uh, just for kicks, let's see what happens when you turn the halfway rectifier into a uh, no rectifier.
that I think that might be the end of that. I'm just going to open this. Yeah, I think there might not be a whole lot left to explain on this thing. So, uh, thank you for watching. Cheerio.